Now let's take a look at managing the chess engines with Hiarx Chess Explorer. There's two main ways that you can manage chess engines and the first way we're going to look at is by using this button here, Configure Current Engine. So we've got the Hiarx 14 WCSC World Computer Software Champion loaded and we're going to configure that now by clicking this button. This brings up all the configuration options. Some of them are greyed out because uh, you can't change them but any ones that aren't greyed out you can change. So we can just change any of these very simply by clicking and you can change any of these uh, different options. Now you'll notice when I've changed that that actually anything you've changed uh, becomes emboldened. So you can see here if I just move that cursor down a bit and we go back up to the top. The one thing I've changed is in bold. If, you, um, if you've changed a lot of things do remember that uh, obviously you can play around with these settings. They are uh, there for you to play around with and change if you want to um, but computer chess programmers have generally speaking tested these to a great deal uh, a great deal and they, their default settings are usually what they consider the strongest so if you want to restore to the default simply click there and um, that will restore everything you've changed back to the default settings which as I say are what the programmers will usually um, choose as the highest settings the strongest settings so uh, when you're ready to go you can click OK. The other things that we're going to look at for configuring the chess engines is by going into this, the options, the preferences and uh, clicking on the engines tab. And now when you've got an engine selected you can uh, select the hash table size uh, for whichever engine you're using. If you've got more memory you can increase the size of it. It's always good to go up in multiples of two so you can see it just automatically goes up in multiples of two. Uh, you can also set uh, Nalimov table bases if you want to. You can set the path to them here and the cache size. But um, as uh, we can access the table bases on the internet instantly with Hiox, you may not even need to have any table bases installed so long as you've got internet access. When you're ready to go, just click apply. The final thing I'm going to look at in this video is adding a brand new engine. You could add any UCI engine to Hiox Chess Explorer and you can do this by clicking the button here. As I say, anything that you've downloaded you can add, it's no problem at all, or if you've bought or anything like that, but we're going to use uh, an older version of Hiarx right now, so we'll go into our applications. We've got a version of Hiarx 13 here. So all we need to do to run that, just double click to install, and you can see that Hiarx has now appeared here, 13.1b SP Lite. And now when you click OK, you go back to the Analysis Explorer, it will appear in your list of engines and you can use that as one of the options. As I said in one of the earlier videos, different engines can give you uh, different opinions on the same position. They're all incredibly strong, but it's nice sometimes, especially if you're doing very deep analysis, to get the opinion of uh, two or more different engines. So there you go, just some of the configuration options for your chess engines in Hiarx Chess Explorer.